I don't believe in God. Um, I did for a long time. I was a, raised a Catholic. I was an altar boy. Um, and I went to Catholic schools from the age of three to 18. Um, and everything I did was Catholic based. I went to Catholic discos. I went to Catholic swimming lessons. I mean, my, so I had a very religious upbringing. So I've always appreciated the value of religion. Uh, and I have a real problem with the new atheists, um, Dawkins and AC Grayling, and even Christopher Hitchens, who I admire enormously, but I think he veered too much into the new atheism for a certain period of time. I've always had a problem with the new atheism because it always, has always struck me as just being this kind of knee-jerk anti-religion outlook. And this idea that people who believe in God are stupid um, and they should realize that humanity is not particularly special. We're just basically quite clever animals. I mean, that was really fundamentally the message of a lot of new atheism. And I think it demeaned um, the value of religion, the historic value of religion and Judeo-Christian culture has, is absolutely key to so many of the values that we celebrate today and in including the value of liberty which didn't come naturally in all instances from Judeo-Christian culture, but it certainly came through the, the debates and the struggles and the conflicts within Judeo-Christian culture over time, you know, um, the rebellions against uh, the Vatican and the growth of Protestantism and, and the influence of Jewish culture in particular ac across Europe, all of these had a huge influence on the growth of freedom of conscience, which then gives rise to freedom of thought, which then gives rise to freedom of speech. And you can really trace that from religious struggles to enlightenment struggles to modern struggles. Um, so absolutely, I think uh, uh, so much of what we take for granted today in terms of liberty and, and ideas and values comes from that. So I would never uh, demean the, the influence and the importance of religion, both historically in terms of um, uh, setting the terrain for the values we celebrate today and also uh, socially in people's lives. It's